Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. So how's everyone today? Um, I have been busy, just like I'm sure um, all of you guys have been, getting ready to uh, really working on all those Christmas gifts and um, getting them things all crocheted up or knit up, whichever way you choose to do it. And of course, you know, I only crochet. I do plan on knitting someday, but uh, as of now, I only crochet. I do have some knitting needles that were gifted to me uh, from Ryan, from the Yarn Hag Ryan. Um, and so I do plan on trying that. At some point, <laughs> maybe that will be my thing next year. But uh, my uh, crochet along, that the cr towel topper crochet along wraps up this month. It's been going on since January, and it's been a monthly thing. So I am going to show you guys a um, the last four towel toppers that I have for the year. Whew, and does it feel good to have them done? <laughs> Thank you to all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. And thank you to all my returning subscribers. Get something to drink real quick. <sighs> okay, um, this is my little sock monkey cup that my daughter on our December party that I tell you that we have every year where we exchange something the 1st of December. This is one of the things that was in my little thing last year was uh, I got the uh, brown one and my husband got the gray one. And uh, so, and his face is on both sides, not just one side, but both sides. <laughs> so, okay, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the, um, my last four towel toppers that I have. Okay, so we are done with the crochet alone, the crochet towel topper cow for 2021. Uh, this is the last four that I have. Uh, so, yeah, so this wraps it up. We still, um, or at least the December 31st does, but I do have mine finished. And um, so these are the ones that I chose. And the yarn for this red one here is Big Twist. And it's called Deep Red. They're 100% acrylic. This one right here. The blue is Big Twist also. And what is the color on this one? It says 380 yards, a medium four weight, varsity blue. Okay, varsity blue for this one here. This is Red Heart Super Saver Cafe Latte. It's right there. This is a big twist. I, I don't remember the color of it because I've already got it wound it up. But it's, um, I think, maybe a light gray that looks like a title it would have and this is just some spare white yarn that I used around it okay um so in I do have a tutorial for this if you're interested and um I was going to show you for these I used an H hook for these four so when I do the edging around here to get the base on it it says A M M E E apostrophe S I'm not really sure if I can even find this on Amazon anymore kind of a sharp edge and it pokes through these really good and so that's why they have this um, plastic top on them but this is it called edge it piercing and crochet hooks learn to crochet on the edge I did find this on Amazon but it was a few years ago and I can't seem to find them now so if any of you guys know where to find this just uh, put the link below in the comment section because I um, haven't been able to find it Luckily, I had bought two at the time that I did, and so this one's going to my sister, Tanya. She's going to learn to crochet these. Um, but the other thing is that works just as good um, is this little dowel. It's by Dritz, D-R-I-T-Z, and you can punch a hole. Um, I wouldn't recommend punching a hole all the way across. I would do like maybe five or ten because the hole, the fabric tends to want to close back in on itself. And so it's kind of hard to find your hoe. So whenever I use this, that's what I do. I do anywhere between five or 10. And then my husband made me this little topper here to keep this in so I don't accidentally poke myself. Oh, if I can get it back going, it's one hand. 
There we go. And so I just keep this on there. Yep, that's the last of my four for the year. And boy, does it feel good to have them all done. <laughs> okay, guys, um, it does feel good to have those done. So if I have time, or no, I know I have time. If I can figure out how to film it, I guess that's the thing. I got to figure out how to film it. If I can figure out how to film um, me taking all my towel toppers and slippers that I've made since January that I have made for Christmas gifts, if I can film putting them in the boxes that I bought earlier this year to give them as my Christmas gift, or I'm going to film that and put that in this video. I've just got to figure out how to hold the camera right and get the right angle at it. <laughs> okay, so the last thing that I have are slippers. And I have been making my mom a pair since January. So she, when so this Christmas, she will get 12 pairs and they're all like, tried to make them the majority of them theme related as possible as I could. <laughs> so, um, so we'll see about that. Um, I'm kind of, I'm curious to see what all different slippers I made because honestly, I don't really remember either. So I'm pretty excited to go through that bag. Um, I can tell you, I am tired of making slippers. I don't think I'm gonna make slippers for at least three months. I mean, that's what I say. Who knows? Um, somebody needs a pair of slippers. I'll make them slippers. <laughs> but um, it, it's just this month, I think, has wore me out. Not that I've made one once every month, but just that this month alone, between I've had several birthdays, um, I've had the bo the little box that I give my daughter, my family, my daughter and them, they've got slippers. Um, yeah, it's a lot of slippers. So let's go ahead and see the last three pairs of slippers that I made, hopefully for this year. <laughs> All right, so now we're on to my slippers. And guys, I have to be honest with you, I'm really tired of making slippers. I don't want to see a pair of slippers again for a while. Um, yeah. I've done so many, and I'm just tired of them. So anyway, um, but this was the last one I had to do was a Christmas one that as far as I was doing one a month for the whole year, uh, this was it. And I used a eye hook, a 5.5. Now I bought my son-in-law a robe for Christmas, so I made him a gray pair. And then this is for my great nephew. I, bought, I made him a little camo. My sister Tanya that learning to crochet, she made him a camo blanket. So I'm making him a camo pair of slippers to go with his little blanket. And this is Red Heart. This is Red Heart Super Saver Camo. Um, the Christmas yarn is Red Heart Super Saver Mistletoe. And then we have Big Twist. Um, it's called Medium Gray that I used for this part right here. And then the dark gray, I lost the label, but it is a big twist as well, I'm pretty sure. And I think it may be steel gray or something like that. But yeah, that's um, that's all of them. I'm done with slippers for the year. Okay, and um, so I do have a tutorial on this. Uh, I have actually two of them. One is called the Sock Monkey Slippers, and then I also have, it's called the Easy Slippers. But the um, band on the Easy Slippers, just a, a solid band around. It's not the uh, front post, back post double crochet. It's more of a solid. Um, and then I have a video that will go with it if you want to add on this ribbed around the uh, around the ankle, or you can just do the sock monkey slipper and use your own colors and it's the same exact thing. So they're the same pattern called the easy slipper or tutorial as it is the sock monkey. As you can see, like I said, I'm really tired of making slippers right now. So um, maybe I won't have to make a pair till next year. Um, so in this hat is, um, it's a divine hat pattern. I'm not sure where I got it from. But this cardigan that I'm wearing, this is a Sorella, the Everyday Cardigan by Sorella is what this is. And this yarn, I'm not sure because I don't have any more. You'd have to go back and watch my video where I made like 
five or seven items out of some yarn that I had received from my Mary Maxim Afghan quarterly kit that I get. And uh, that will be coming out. Uh, matter of fact, I just got noticed that they had deducted the money out of my uh, out of my account for the kit. So I should be getting a kit this month, uh, another Afghan kit. But yeah, I made this um, right here. I put some pockets on it. It's just a Sorella Everyday Cardigan. And I put my little name tag, my little tag on here. My daughter had bought this. It says, Pamela Sue's Handmade Creation. And um, anyway, so I'll put that on there. But yeah, so uh, yeah, go check it. I'll leave the link below. She does have a written pattern. And it's for, I think all sizes, like up to a 5X or something. I mean, it's a lot. Like extra small all the way up. I think this one is maybe the large. I think I like my stuff big and roomy. Uh, mainly because I know that it's winter and I'll probably have a thick shirt. I'm wearing a thin shirt, a uh, little tank top underneath it this morning. But uh, most times if I'm wearing this out and it's winter, I'm wearing a thicker shirt. So I like, you know, I don't like stuff binding on me. Especially jackets. Jackets more than anything. I don't like them. Ugh, I just don't like them, like, binding on me. I guess that's the right word. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will leave these links below. Okay, so the bag has all the towel toppers for the crochet along that I've done since January. I've made four each for the ladies, and then I have 12 pairs of slippers because I made one pair of slippers a month, all month. I mean, <laughs> all year. Well, the boxes I had bought at Dollar General and... Um, michaels between those stores and some reason these three right here is what i had bought to put the towel toppers in but for some reason i only found three i thought i had four of them i had bought the top one to put socks in but some reason i had bought two in this size so i'm just not really sure i'm gonna try to get my socks in that one see if i that will work anyway so let's go ahead and um pull these out So I went and got my second box. Thank goodness I bought two of these.
ahead and read our 365 days of prayer. It says, Compassionately. Jesus, when he came out, saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion for them because they were like sheep, not having a shepherd. So he began to teach them many things. Mark 6, 34. Father of compassion, how grateful I am for your tenderness towards me. Even when my problems are my doing, you see me in my distress and you rescue me. Gently you restore me. I never lose my standing with you. It's incredible. You knew I could never do enough, never be enough. So you came here as more than enough on my behalf. Patiently you teach me, no matter how long it takes me to learn. Repeatedly you forgive me, no matter how many times I sin. Compassionately you love me. Thank you. And it says, have you thanked the Lord lately for his compassion towards you? Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, I don't know if necessarily for, for the compassion he has for me, but I do thank my Lord every day. So, okay guys, um, that's all that I have for this video. Remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.